I like to use non-stick parchment paper for tape sets, along with simple masking tape. Unroll your parchment paper on a cutting mat and cut slightly larger than the amount you need. The yellow mat in this video is 34 inches wide and I cut a piece of parchment paper about 35 inches long. I like to flip the paper over so that it is curling towards the mat instead of up. Next, unroll a stretch of masking tape, securing the ends of the tape off of the paper onto the mat. It is important to have the tape stretch past the edge of the parchment paper. This will help hold things down when you're making the cuts later. Repeat the process several times while leaving a bit of a gap between each row. In this setup, I had determined that I can fit 12 strips of tape across the paper. Each finished tape set needs 6 strips of tape. So after the 6th row, I place a larger gap before continuing on with 6 more rows of tape. Use your hands to smooth down the tape by pressing firmly. Next, I cut lengthwise along the parchment paper in the gap I created between rows. This makes the tape sets of six strips of tape. Line up the ruler and start making cuts every two inches. It happens that the ruler I'm using here is two inches wide. Otherwise, I'd be using the cut lines on the cutting mat that are visible through the parchment paper. Repeat the cuts as you move across the cutting mat. Be mindful that the tape may start to curl up. It can be useful to have some extra weights holding down the non-cut portion of the parchment paper. This keeps things from slipping and makes it easier to focus on making the cuts. Make sure to press firmly down on the ruler so that both the ruler and the parchment paper do not move as you are cutting. There we have it, a stack of tape sets ready to go.